everyone, I'm Andrea Vasliu and you're listening to Hellblazer Biz with Chris Gordon. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night listeners wherever you may be in the world right now. This is Hellblazer Biz with your host as always, Chris Gordon. Today I bring to you an amazing talented actress, appearing in films such as Dark Knight Rises, Wonder Woman, Justice League which is due out also next year, and also just finished filming for Knights of the Damned. I proudly introduce you to Andrea Vasiliu. Hi, Andrea. How are you? Hello. Oh, you're impressed I got your name right. <laughs> yeah, I know. That is impressive. Most people will try about three or four times and they still can't pronounce it, but it's fine. Well done. I've been well practicing for indeed. the last 20 minutes before we started talking. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Trust me. True. Don't tell anyone. No one needs to know that. <laughs> no, no. Excellent. Right. As you know, I've got some questions for you. Um, I really yeah. appreciate you coming on and, and accepting anyway. Oh, well, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Yeah. It's been fun talking already. Yeah, I know. So I'm right. excited to hear what you can ask me. I know. I've been chatting for 20 minutes already and it's there. Uh... I know. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So so what made you decide to get into acting? Ooh, what made me decide to get into acting? Well, um, I was always passionate about drama at school and then I was like taking some classes on like on the weekends like drama school and then I decided I want to go to drama school and my parents were like no you need to get you need to do a degree that's you know Mm -hmm. you need a plan b as they always say so I was like okay I'll study languages and then I can if I can do it in London then I can at least do drama classes in London, try and get an agent and try and break into acting while I'm studying. Mm-hmm. So I kind of did that, um, went traveling and then for a year like after school and then went, came back and then did French and Spanish at uni and then tried to get an agent as soon as I got there. So I went to like lots of casting director workshops and took acting classes and then um, managed to get into a play and um, had a showcase Mm -hmm. and then got signed by my first agent and that's how it kind of rolled on and then started uh, going to auditions after about six seven months of being in London so that was great and I kind of balanced it with studying French and Spanish which was fun yeah it was good I kind of fell into it but I always loved doing acting and and to kind of pushing myself out of my comfort zone Mm -hmm. and and trying out different characters it's always a lot of fun falling around on stage or whatever <laughs> it sounds like a very um similar sort of way i mean i stopped the acting um because that's what my parents did to me as well they said you've got to choose a degree and choose a choose a way to go because I, I loved theater yeah. i loved it in school i did dramas i was in the musicals in school oh and yeah, yeah, yeah but i was actually in music great. i was in a musical and i did my lower six and uh or year uh-huh. th- 12 is it now i don't know how they work now oh yeah <laughs> so yeah that's how old i am yeah, that's I, right. I, yeah. <laughs> they only just changed them as i as i got there <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. but yeah i did all those and i got yeah. pulled out of the school musical i was nicholas nickleby and smike and my parents went in and said it was detrimental and damaging my a levels and that i couldn't oh, do it and uh, they pulled me out and it just knocked yeah. my self-esteem so much they, they meant well and i've got no malice against yeah. them for doing it no, yeah, it no, just knocked, no. knocked my self-esteem so much and it's taken 20 years uh, for me to try and start getting back into it again myself oh gosh oh good on you for getting back into it trying to, yeah. I think I think it is yeah it is something at the time but I think sometimes it's like um it, it benefits you in the future in mm-hmm. a way although I really didn't want to read languages at the time now I've actually got jobs because I can speak languages so sometimes yeah. it does help you out and I think I, I think in your case as well at least now you're older and more mature you can you know take the initiative to go for it and why mm-hmm. not you know you're in a good position like so sounds sounds like you're doing well <laughs> well yeah I sent to Ross last night it's like I've got me first I was in my first filming a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I did hear that. Yeah, I, I don't well, know. I can't believe it. It was only a local thing. Fifty but... was it? Yeah, it wasn't a very nice character though. He, nice. Was, he was a bit of a. Hang on, I'll, I'll mouth it because I don't want anyone to say it. Okay. <laughs> can you oh, read my really? lips? Yeah, I didn't know because yeah, yeah. I didn't read the full script. I only read the scenes that I was in, which have got nothing related to that at all. Oh, schoolboy <laughs> error! You need to be reading all of those. But they, you they can't gave, be they gave, just with your bits. They gave me more. Of this. The thing was, they gave me more on the day. Which I didn't know. That's why oh, did they? Okay. they didn't. They didn't. It's because they love you so much. Yeah, they didn't that's, send me those scenes. <laughs> oh right, fair enough. Fair enough. That is good. Yeah, it's, it's just when, when the lead actress came up and told me, she goes, "Ah, oh, she goes, I'm going to be torturing you later." And I was like, "Pardon." <laughs> it's like oh, <laughs> improv. Yeah, and I was reading. Improv. I was like, "Oh, good God!" And I actually, it was a great character because obviously it was yeah, it, yeah. it was a bad character, but it uh-huh. I felt pretty 
ill. <laughs> oh God, I <laughs> Having bet. to say some of the lines as voiceovers, it was oh, <laughs> icky. Oh, I know. It's all good experience. You'll get oh, more God, into yeah. it. But it was my first time, was... so I was quite happy. <laughs> yeah. It's great. It's great to play a part like that that you can really sink your teeth into. So oh, get on God. you. <laughs> Excellent. Do you have any role models who inspired you? Or do you have any who inspire, uh, inspire um... you now? Yeah, yeah, I have a few actually. I really like Denzel Washington, just as mm -hmm. I love his work, but also he's a quite great public speaker, so I love watching some of his videos. I love Kate Blanchett, I mm -hmm. love her work. She's in incredibly talented and she always plays like strong characters, so I really love what like watching her. Oh yeah, quite a few different ones. Like I love the types of projects that Rooney Mara has been doing, like the girl with the dragon oh, tattoo. Yeah, yeah, they're very different, she, aren't they? She's very yeah, good. Yeah, exactly. She did Carol, which is you know really different, like more of an opposite, much more of an opposite character to mm -hmm. the girl with the dragon tattoo. So I love watching her, and and I think she's really like mystical in in her in her style of acting, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are those are like my main ones actually. All oh, right, cool. Denzel Washington is very intense. I always, you, I love watching yeah. him because he's yeah. There's just he just has this intensity in every film he does. It's great. Oh, it's, I know, I know. He's incredible to watch. Yeah, the, the Equalizer is the last one I've seen. No, it wasn't it? Was the the other one, the flight one, where he's the drunk, the uh, the druggy oh. captain. Flight. Oh, flight was it? Flight. Yeah, it's called flight. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was it. Flight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, which? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I know he was great in that. I, I, I really think you know he's just. I did. He just like embodies every role that he does so mm -hmm. well, and he's just such a strong, um, dominant person. But also, he's got like that sensitivity about him. So yeah. you know, you can see so many different so many different facets in one mm -hmm. person it's great to watch that's what i love about him yeah, yeah. definitely definitely excellent you said <laughs> yes. you, you said you've done theater as well uh, did you do th i mean obviously you went to drama school and stuff like that so yeah. you've done much theater since then or is it just all i have i tell you what it's been mainly film and tv since coming out and finishing drama school because i think it was just that that's the kind of work that I slipped into and it's always just kind of gone in that direction. But I would yeah. love to do more theatre. It's been mainly film, which has been great. I'm not complaining. I absolutely <laughs> love it. But I do like the instant gratification you get from theatre, like being on stage and that buzz. I mean, mm -hmm. it's so different to being on set. I mean, it's still, you know, so exciting, like being on set and working with really creative people. But I think when you're in, in theatre and you're working with um, in front of a live audience is it you know that is quite special and and um yeah i'm looking forward to doing more of those projects next year hopefully so we'll Ooh, see fantastic. yeah i think you're right with the theater because no matter i think every performance is different based on what the audience's reactions are that's a, that's not me saying that's that that's, 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 i'm stealing that from someone on a previous guest yeah. <laughs> yeah. but from my own experience when i did Good it 20 one. years ago it's right because you come on yeah. and it depends how the audience act it depends on what, what kind of night you're going to have yeah and if you get exactly it, and if you cock it up in a the theater you've, you've cocked it up <laughs> that's it yeah, exactly you've got a live audience no yeah. go back on that exactly. no extra takes but also i think um, it requires a lot more energy and Acting in t itself does require energy, but especially on theatre, you really need to keep it keep it up and keep it flowing. And I think that's that's what's exciting about it. That's what keeps the drive to keep doing it night after night because yeah. you know you've got the energy from the audience and you've got to bring it bring it fresh every time, which is which can be challenging. Oh, definitely, God, yeah. I think. So yeah, okay. I just thought uh, John Joe O'Neill in The Crucible last year. Um, I yeah. had him on the show and I went to see him. And you're right with the theatre because it's just so demand. Like you say, the energy that you have to have, and seeing yeah. seeing people at the end of. I mean, obviously, at the end of a 15 hour filming set, you're, you're going to be shattered anyway. But after, yeah, uh, you know, that was three, just over three hours. Oh and wow! With intense energy on stage. I mean, I met him. I carries him, it. Yeah, met him up afterwards, and you're just oh, yeah. just draggled, you know, because it's just I can it just imagine takes it out of you, and obviously doing that for over and over every night for so long, it must be definitely, definitely. I totally agree. I mean, it it does require so much, and and you've got to be so you've got to mentally prepare yourself for it because yeah. it's like you know that you've got to entertain, and you know we have to bring that life into that character every night, even though you know it back to front, inside out, mm -hmm. and you know that's your duty to the audience so you know people have paid a lot to to be there why not and yeah i can imagine it would be 
intense for him, especially playing that role. Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it kind of, yeah, it kind of epitomizes what you're saying, like you say, with that with what you do in theatre and obviously the the the, the uh, energy that you do need to just to go through yeah. a performance like that. Because say Definitely. when when I did that film and it was just like sat, I think I was far four and a half hours. I was just sat waiting. Because I was obviously waiting for my next oh, scene. Yeah, so there a, seems to be a lot of waiting. So <laughs> much waiting around. So much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Definitely. I loved every minute. But yeah, you're just sitting there waiting for your part and it's like... <laughs> I know, I know. It's like people say it's really glamorous and it is. But there's a lot of wait. But it's also a lot of waiting around and like you have to... Um, and sometimes you're really like... Because I've been on the call to set at 7am and then... Uh, my scene hasn't actually happened because they've been running behind till seven seven thirty at night. So you know you kind of mentally get yourself prepared for this <laughs> character, and then it just doesn't happen, and you're waiting to be called. So sometimes you just yeah you, you kind of zone out a little bit, and then you're like oh gosh it's, it's my time now. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, I can I can relate to that now. You see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. That's good. That's yeah, good. I, I was told it was only going to be four hours, and I got there at ten o'clock, and I left at eleven p.m. Oh so, yeah. yeah, you can't. You could never take it off face value. If they say, "Oh, this will be an eight-hour shoot day," never take it because no, it, no, it, it will most probably run over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're also a model as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah you I do. Are, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Are, is that a different? I mean, that must be another hard industry to be in as well, because obviously you've got acting and modelling. Yeah, yeah, it is. It works hand in hand sometimes with um, certain jobs. Like I've done a lot of commercials and sometimes in commercial mm -hmm. castings, they ask you to do, you know, a bit of improv. And so um, that definitely helps that I've got the acting side because some people just, you know, find that daunting. Yeah. But um, I absolutely love it. So, But I think with modelling, it's it is more about, like, you know, the clothes that you're wearing and and what you're selling, the brat, rather than you as the, you know, mm -hmm. you, you doing your thing. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. So it, they are quite different. But, um, yeah, equally, I mean, with modelling as well, there is a lot of waiting around. So mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you know what that feels like. <laughs> yeah. uh, it is good. I mean, it's great, like, being in a co collaborative environment with really creative people, and that's what you get with in the fashion industry as well as in the film, which so that's what I love about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's good. It's been fun. All right, cool, excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Is there an actor that you'd look, or an actress that you'd love to work with? Oh, so many. Okay. I'd love to work with Kate Winslet. Um, I think she's incredibly talented, and mm -hmm. and she she just owns her roles every time, and, and, yeah. and you just don't know what's coming next, really, with her. So, I'd love to work with her. Um, the Caprio as well. He's incredible. I did like a small scene in The Dark Knight Rises with Michael Caine, and he was, oh, wow. you know, I was quite nervous. Yeah. But he was just so friendly and had a real good chat with him before we went on set. So I felt like, I feel like honored in in terms of having the chance to meet him and mm -hmm. with the Christopher Nolan and 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 quite big actors already. But yeah, he's genuinely made me feel such a, so at ease really funny oh, <laughs> good lovely. guy that's fantastic I mean it's, you know not yeah. many people get to say they've worked with you know Michael Caine you know yeah, true. <laughs> only told yeah. you to blow the bloody doors off you know? <laughs> <laughs> only gone and blown the bloody doors off it's so yeah. funny that that's... that was that will never die will it that, no. that quote it will never never die <laughs> That's probably one of the worst impressions out of all the impressions that I do do as well. <laughs> Don't worry, mine was equally as bad, so we're, we're in it together. It's fine. Yeah. I'll have to tell you my Yoda at one point as well. I'm a Donald Oh, girl. yeah, you've got to pull that one out, definitely. Uh, <laughs> hang on. I'll try and ask the next question as Yoda and, and see if okay. it, cause it moves on from Dark Knight anyway. Part of okay, Dark Knight Rises, we were. Any stories from set could you share with us? Ooh, that, that was right? much better. That was much better than your previous impression. Um, any stories from set? I, well, basically, I shot the scene that I shot was actually the last day of of filming. So wow. I got chatting to Christian Bale after, and he invited me to the rap party, wow. which was pretty really exciting. So I got to go to that, and that was an experience and a half. A lot of a lot of drunk chats, and but a good good time. Everyone was 
I was really in high spirits, I think, because obviously the, sh- the film had done really well and they, they were really pleased with what they'd got. So it was great. It was really fun. I mean, that was the first time that I really got an acting role. So I was really yeah. excited. And 